look so cute. Oh my goodness. Mon gueule. So fine. Welcome back to my channel. I moved to Germany from Norway a little bit over a year ago and I share a little bit about my life. Germans drink a lot of a lot of sparkling water. Now I am not used to that. Where I come from, we usually just drink uh, still water and a lot of people prefer everything else but sparkling water of course i guess a lot of people drink it too but here it's like i heard that it's almost more normal to drink sparkling or like most people prefer sparkling water to still water here and that's pretty like uh, different and they even have also medium sparkling water not normal sparkling but not nothing they have like a medium thing which i think is so like interesting and yeah i don't know i'm not a big fan of it myself but so I always like stick to normal water um, but yeah. Germans apparently say danke when they don't want something or when they, if, instead of saying no thank you for example, they would say danke. And I don't understand why really, but of course it makes sense for them. But in Norway, for example, we just say no thanks. You know? I usually directly translate that. So when I say no thanks in German, I say nein danke. And I'm not sure if that's correct or if that's actually wrong. Please let me know actually. I'm curious because I have no idea. <laughs> Number three is that they pay for extra ketchup and mayo usually. Some places, I guess it's included or free or something, but most places I've seen that it costs extra. And in Norway, that's uh, not really normal. We usually get it for free. I talked about this before. For example, at McDonald's, like you don't ask for ketchup in your takeaway. They just grab a bunch and then put it in the bag. Number four is that dogs are actually dogs are actually allowed in restaurants and stores. Not all, of course. I don't think they're allowed in grocery stores, but like especially like even in the mall, I've seen people bring their dog, and I'm like. <laughs> what like really because in norway that's totally forbidden like you should not bring your pets in the mall or something like that so yeah i actually think that's not that bad actually i think it's kind of cool and it's so cute to see like different dogs <laughs> i love dogs number five is that you don't really ask germans how they are because if you do they might just tell you really how they are and we small talk more than here in germany i I think that Germans don't like small talk and I think they try to avoid small talk and they would rather talk about things that really like have substance, you know. Uh, so usually you shouldn't really ask Germans how they are because they might be like totally blunt or like totally they will really tell you how it is, you know, and we're not used to that. We're just like, hi, how are you? I'm good than you, you know, we're not like, oh, <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. Like, I guess it's just a cultural difference, but it's pretty interesting though, because I know that the Germans and the regions tend to be pretty similar in how we act. But at the same time, since now I really see the difference more, I would say that we are actually pretty different than I thought we were. In cinemas, they have sweet popcorn. I think sweet popcorn is pretty cool and ooh, like because in Norway we don't really have sweet popcorn, but they do not sell butter popcorn at cinemas. Oh, in Norway, it's like so normal to sell like butter popcorn. Like, ooh, it's so good. Honestly, you're missing out. Like when going to the cinema, like the popcorn would be my favorite part, honestly and so hello like you should really try it my dear german fellows maybe i can start my own <laughs> cinema and then i can sell better popcorn i like sweet popcorn i like salty better though but uh, that's just a personal preference but i think i already mentioned this before that germans are very direct and that's all good and all um but usually like if they see something that someone are doing wrong for example they would not hesitate usually they would just tell you how it is tell you their opinion because usually when they like it a certain way or when they think one way is correct it's like always that or nothing it is so bad i want to give you a zero but that's not possible so I give you a one. 
is this very exaggerated because I kind of understand like I kind of feel the vibe you know <laughs> I can't I don't have that much experience honestly but I just know that Germans are very direct yeah I'm not used to that in Norway we're pretty like we don't really care what other people do we just mind our own business all the time Germany has so many castles I honestly I love it it's so cool it's so magical and like I don't know I really like that stuff uh, in Norway we have barely have any castles I think it's around 20,000 castles in Germany that's pretty impressive I heard and I've also seen it I've also seen it too and that's like when people have lost something let's say a glove or a personal belonging or clothing or whatever if they've lost it in the forest or wherever honestly Germans tend to like pick it up and put it in a tree or something so it's like more visible to the owner when they go back and look for it I thought it was so cute like oh, that is so cute I think that everybody should do that then actually the other day I saw like a mitten uh, up on like a fence or something so I was thinking it is actually true Germans can start drinking alcoholic beverage I believe at age 16 in Norway we can start when we're 18 so yeah it's pretty different uh, depending on the country like I think that the drinking culture in Germany is very different from in Norway I mean Germans or Germany is very known for beer and everything like that and I think that maybe that also has to do with why they can start so early so yeah but it's just different things that we are not really used to back in Norway I do notice though I've lived in Germany for like over a year now so I'm pretty I'm getting used to a lot of these things but so it was actually kind of hard for me to like find like many things but yeah there are actually quite a few things so but yeah I just think that's pretty fun and it's a charm you know everything um, and I'm just you know it would be so boring if like every country was like the same so yeah interesting so let me know if there's some other things that Germans do that are like pretty just typical German um, but yeah I will see you guys very soon again bye bye so